sisters use him like a lab rat. The mean free dad at home is super busy mom. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control and skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Tess. Johnny Tess. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Is the greatest actor of our generation. Personally, I feel the monkey carries the film. Yeah! yeah woo! Johnny, mm. did you break into my DVD cabinet again? No. The quickest and the monkeyest? Johnny, you're too young to be watching these movies. But your movies are the best. Stay out of my DVD cabinet. It's a beautiful day. Now I want you and Dookie outside. That's not what I meant. But we need to know how it ends. The good guy wins and gets the girl and the monkey steals the show. Now go be active like boys should be and stay out of my video cabinet! So, how should we be active? We could bug my sisters. That's active! Thanks, Gil! <gasps> so what's with the funky hats? We've just invented the Ultra Reality Video Helmet. Just place any video or DVD in the player, put on the helmet with matching sensors, and you're virtually sent inside the video. Mary is currently inside the home spy video we shot of Gil's pool party, which we weren't invited to. Hey, Gil invited you to the party? Yes, I'd love to go swimming, Gil. Hey, this is when me and Dookie do a hey ball! Ball! Ah! I told you it was Ultra Reality. Awesome! Now turn this off so it can be our turn. Don't shut the power off! She's still in the movie! Why? What will happen? We're not sure, but we theorize that either nothing will happen or you'll be trapped in the video forever. Ooh, okay, our turn. Yeah, but we'll need a cooler DVD. There's no way you or those stupid action movies you sneak from Dad will ever play on the Ultra Reality Helmets. So, bye! You got a plan? Oh, yeah. Johnny Test! Well, installing this fan shouldn't be hard. I am a man, after all. Here, Dookie, get the stick, get the stick. Come on, boy, come on. Oh, that's a good boy, good boy, get it, that stick. Oh, <laughs> Is there anything greater than a boy playing with his dog? Okay, but how do we get rid of your sister so we can use the movie helmet things? Hmm. You do impressions, right? I dabble. Hello? Hi, Susan, Mary. It's Gil. <gasps> I'm very handsome. And do you want to meet me at the mall for a smoothie? Now? <laughs> What's better than going out to the movies? Going in to the movies. Buckle up, monkey. Awesome! We're gonna drag race! Hit it, Speed! Hey, why can't he hear us? We're virtual, Johnny. We can't change the movie. We only get inside and go along for the ride! No, I think it's time we gave him the slip. <laughs> Wait for the next quickest and monkeyest race. Hey, 
Where's the racing and the cops and the action? Oh, this is one of those slow parts in the movie where they introduce a love interest. What's a love interest? Kissy girls, we're out of here. Okay, so what movie do you want to go into now? Something with action and no kissing. Cool! Whoa. Hey, hey, you don't think we're in any danger of getting, you know, uh, wasted by one of these lasers? I mean, the girls did say it was ultra reality. Yes! What? Relax, it's a movie. Nobody really gets hurt in a movie. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, we can check out another movie. On second thought, let's check out of here before your psycho sisters get back, get mad, and turn us into fruit. Well, we haven't seen the end of the quickest and the monkeyest. Um, they narrowly escape the cops, make it to the Mexican border, and live on burritos and bananas. Come on, we'll skip to the last chapter. It'll be really action-y. There's nothing you can do to get me back in that movie. Well, I don't care if this is real or virtual steak. Oh, it's good. <laughs> awesome. We're in a big high-speed Hollywood chase scene. Now to test my new fan, which I installed by myself. Very manlike. Great. No fire this time. What was that? Who cares? Look! Aw, oh, movies and monkeys are fun! I can't believe Gil would stand us up like that. Okay, maybe I can. Dad knocked the power out again. And Johnny's using the ultra reality helmet. <gasps> the power's out and Johnny's using the ultra reality helmet! Surge must have fried the circuit board. We can't stop it. Then that means... Exactly. Dad should stop trying to install ceiling fans himself, and Johnny's stuck in that movie forever! I still don't get the sticking your head out the window thing. Okay, I don't need to see the ending. Me neither. Oh no! It's not working! We can't get out of the movie! Cover your ears, this might be loud. Ah! Good. Maybe this will teach them a lesson for messing with our stuff. I mean, what happens at the end of this stupid macho monkey movie anyway? According to the movie blog, the quickest and the monkeyest controversially ends when Torque, played by Speed McCool, and the monkey drive off the Grand Canyon rather than being captured. Yeah, that's a problem. You had to watch your dad's movies, didn't you? You couldn't watch a cartoon like normal kids. Relax. Speed and the monkey will just escape the cops and live happily ever after in Mexico, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Don't worry, monkey. You're never going back to that zoo. We've got to do something. The Johnny clone! He has real Johnny action and mom and dad will never know the real Johnny disappeared forever in a Hollywood blockbuster. I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny. Okay, plan B. We split the DVI connectors into a second DVD player and go into the movie and save Johnny. How? We're gonna need a big helmet. Well, monkey, if we stop now, I go to jail and you go back to that zoo. <laughs> I agree. Let's go for it. Is it me, or are we running out of rope? Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah! Is it me, or is that Susan and Mary driving up next to us? Again. Ah! Wait, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Jump! He drives off the canyon! That's how the movie ends. Emphasis on ends. What the heck? Let's go for it. Johnny, and nothing will change our mind. Hello? Uh, hi, Susan Mary. 
I just called to say I love girls who let their brothers use their inventions. Anyway, I'm handsome. Bye. Our new MP3 laser player. It stores 15,000 songs and a 40 megawatt photon laser. Whoa! 15,000 songs? Hey, sweethearts, has anyone seen my bowling? Whoa! <laughs> here's a funny story, Dad, that I'm sure you'll love. And here's one you'll love. No lasers, cold fusion experiments, or molecular anything for one week! Mary, rewind, please. <laughs> Hey, how'd you make old Yeller rewind like that? After we built the music player with the deadly laser, we figured, why not add a simple turbo time rewind and pause feature? Anything within its turbo time rate can be paused or rewound for up to five minutes. Could you hold these for a moment? Sure. Observe. Hey, did anyone see my bowling? Ah! I didn't do it. Susan and Mary made you rewind and stop! Thinking, uh, no bicycle or skateboard for one month. One month? But they use this thing that rewinds people. Johnny, and... it's one thing to break my ball. It's another to make up stories. So now you're punished for two months. Anything else you want to say? Yes, I will get Susan and Mary back for this. <sighs> oh, wet gill. Ooh, let's see him do that again. And again. We've got to get that turbo time rewinder. There's still time to rewind Dad and erase my punishment and get my wheels back. But how? We could try sneaking up on them and stealing it. Good plan. Does he really think he can sneak up on us like that? I've cloned sheep that have more sense than him. Shall I do the honors? Ooh, use the pause function this time. <laughs> hey! Where'd these sheep come from? <laughs> they turbo-timed us! I just want to be able to rewind stuff for five minutes so I can get my wheels back. Yes, but you don't have a turbo-time rewinder, and I'm pretty sure no one else on the planet has one that you could borrow. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> my sweet Susan, I have hacked into your mainframe yet again to declare my undying love for Susan. Hey, Eugene. It's bling bling boy, okay? Bling bling boy! Uh, listen, I asked Susan to go out with me earlier this week, and I would like an answer. Now! Well, she said no the last 50 times you asked, but I'll check again for you after I capture the turbo time rewinder. Oh, she has one of those too? Well, I'm sure that it's nothing compared to my Omni Mega Giganto Rewindatron! You have a turbo time thingy too? Omni Mega Giganto Rewindatron! Whatever, can I borrow it? No! I'll fix it up with my sister. Then yes! Oh, can we do something nice? A picnic or a show? How are you ever going to do that? It's a note from Gil! Gil? <laughs> Gil! What's the note say? It says he wants to meet me at the park today for a picnic and a show! Just you? Can you believe it? How do I look? What do we talk about? Will he ask me to marry him? Are we rushing too fast into things? Sure, this is from Gil. I mean, he spelled his own name wrong. Gil has one L, not two. Of course it's from Gil. Ooh. You're just jealous because he didn't invite you to the park. Hmm. I told you Gil has one L. It worked, didn't it? She'll go to the park expecting to meet Gil, but Eugene will be there instead. He gets his date, and we get this. The Omni Mega rewind away and make me look cool machine. But first, to get my wheels back. my missing shoe. I've been looking all morning for you. Hey, Dad. 
Did you lose something? Yes, my shoe! Oh, I'd do anything to find that shoe! Would you let me have my skateboard and bike back? Sure, whatever. Just help me find my shoe! Okay. Boy, it could be anywhere. Like, it's behind the bookcase! Oh, I found it! I, I mean, you found it. Okay, Johnny, a deal's a deal, so you can have your... Uh, Johnny? Is this awesome or what? Hmm, I think it's time to have a little fun. Uh, Johnny, those guys are three times your size. Yeah, but time is on my side. Okay, enough with the time puns. Got it. Then I said, what a dweeb! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I said, what a dweeb! My love! Eugene? It's Bling Bling Boy! Don't you think it captures my essence? The world's evilest mind and world's greatest <laughs> smoocher. Get away before you ruin my picnic! Did you say picnic? <laughs> oh, sweet Susan, shall we kiss now or later? How about now? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Mary was right. There really is only one Ellen Gill. Johnny! Johnny, you've got the sweetest moves ever! Yeah, you always seem to know just where to be. Like, how'd you do that? Let's just say it's all in the timing. <laughs> I, uh, think this thing is busted. <laughs> and now I think I'm busted. <laughs> Yo! You popped the ball! I knew you couldn't be that good. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> he can beat a ball. <laughs> Definitely busted. Ah! ah my Omni Mega Giganto Rewindatron has returned. <laughs> and so has one flaming headed liar! Um, thanks? Hmm. Judging from these indicators, you were rewinding all over the place and doing it rather poorly. Yeah, that sounds about right. However! Without your moronic overuse, I never would have discovered how short the battery life on this thing is. Fixed! Genius! Great. Can I have it back? Um, let me think. No! But I fixed you up with Susan! And she was expecting Gil! Ooh! And I kissed a sheep! A clone sheep, I might add! You know, it's funny, you can always tell the difference. You probably wish you could rewind that moment, huh? No. But I wouldn't mind rewinding this one! Dookie, get him! If you let me do this until the batteries die out, the picnic is yours. Works for me. Pretty crude day. I made it myself. It's delicious! Can I have some? In no. Oh, 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 oh,